Making a video game is no simple task. This is why we appreciate the time and effort developers invest in their projects for us to enjoy. While waiting for long-term titles can be worth the wait, short virtual horror adventures are here to satisfy our hunger. Lucky for us, game jams continue to bring fresh titles through sleepless nights and limited time. I'm Scruncho with JetXP, and in this video we'll be sliding through 10 interesting game jam indie horror games. For this list, we'll be focusing on horror titles that are a part of game jams, obviously. As a once a video reminder, this list is in no particular order, so if you see a title on a number you don't agree with, no need to get twisted. Number 10. Veinless Property if this art style does not instantly pull you in, maybe whatever is trying to creep in will. A part of a three-week game jam in the style of Junji Ito, this title adds a whole new layer of discomfort to home invasion horror. As you could have guessed, you are seemingly home alone in your house while your parents are gone for the night when a variety of occurrences begin to convince you otherwise. Many light switches, a creep out your window, and some shatter glass later, you decide grabbing a knife to defend yourself is a required next step. While I won't give more away, this intruder makes it seem like they might want to be friends. Well, sorta. Regardless, this art approach certainly makes home invasion look cool. Number 9, Thy Flesh. As part of the 2020 Scream Jam and Made in 20 Hours, Thy Flesh makes the idea of not having eyes even worse than it already seems. Waking up to a wrecked car, unaware of what happened, you walk through a forest to a nearby cabin for some help. Although it seems like no one is home, a variety of weird pictures and a locked hatch on the floor allows one sketchy situation to get sketchier. Finding a key and going down the hatch, despite the uncomfortable notes left behind, endless hallways take their time to lead you to unfortunate encounters. I would have much preferred the car wreck. Number 8, The Mold Exorcist. Mold is unfortunate enough. Demonic mold that needs to be exorcised may present a new kind of hazard. But don't worry, you, the player, are on the job. Made in 48 hours for the GGJ 2021, you receive a call for a rushed mold extermination on a house, barging through the doors with your Mold Blaster 9000. Spraying the overpopulated walls, the mold begins to speak to you and the house starts to get a bit funky. With only the basement left to take care of, what you find might make you consider a career change. While I don't think a time and a half is worth such a terrible mold infestation, at least we know there's someone out there to get rid of demonic mold. Just a 1-800-666-MOLD dial away. Number 7. Project Blood Crystal Made in 10 days for the 2019 Scream Jam, this crystal and seemingly bloody moss-covered wonderland has you fighting through creepy, pasty-looking creatures. Starting off in an empty parking lot, you move towards your car where you're phased into another world where an individual you've been looking for might be. Shoot through the land of blood crystals, listen to some banging tunes, and even treat yourself with a shotgun boss battle. Regardless, this short experience will have you wishing it was more than a game jam game. Number 6, Terminal. Looking for your perfect match? This title has you covered. Created in a week for the Devolver Disc Room Game Jam, you're caught up in the LBR NTH program where you test a series of floppy disks to find your match. Despite being told you have all the time in the world, a big clock counts down for what one can only assume the ending of your floppy disk dating session. Build a pile of rejected disks, look through a collection of odd profiles, and work with a confusing terminal that seems like it's ready to malfunction at any moment. While you may not find the person of your dreams, or maybe you do, you at least get to have a short, spooky experience. And perhaps some of you might be a couple apps shorter on your phone after witnessing this.
Number 5, Affection. Made for the show me what you got Scream World game jam, this point and click horror adventure leads you to some interesting places. Waking up in a pale, empty space, you have no idea where or who you are. Upon leaving the room, you discover three other people in different rooms who also don't remember how they ended up in the space. With blood building up, so do the tensions as arguments of the source of their capturing is pointed around. These tensions only build up when one of the other people is found dead. While I won't ruin the ending for you, looking through the rooms and soaring through a variety of dialogue will not prepare you for the ending. I guess not all thoughtfulness is responded with being thankful. Number 4, Rococo. This interesting submission to the haunted PS1 summer of screams at first glance looks like a spaced out and choppy Polly Pocket environment. Waking up in a bed within a rubbery, fruit snack sounding house like area, you're on the hop for a jar of cookies. Jump to the jar and munch on some cock cookies, but not everyone will be as excited as you are about eating late night treats. Reaching the stars and pissing off the moon who knows you're not supposed to be eating cookies, the world around you starts to crumble. And here I thought we're supposed to be excited about crumbly parts of the game. I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Your mother says that no more cookies has been and now you're all Number 3, Resurfacing of the Tiger Shark Submarines can be spooky enough. This submarine does not let you down in that department. Made for the haunted PS1 Summer of Shivers, a United States nuclear attack submarine is presumed lost for six months in the Arctic. Recently discovered that the vessel has resurfaced, you, the player, make it your job to board and investigate it. Upon entering the submarine, things seem seemingly fine. Running water, functional ladders, a trail of blood… Okay, so while things are not really looking fine anymore, at least you have a once in a lifetime experience on a submarine. Number 2, Rust Bucket Revenge. Okay, I know what you're thinking. What is so scary about an old rusty car? Well, nothing really. But this rusty car is trying to kill you. Made for week one of the haunted PS1 wretched weekend, this poor neglected car hunts the streets of an industrial district to satisfy his hatred for humanity. Dodge the angry burning of rubber and try to get it to self-sabotage itself through its rage with four different endings. And hey, let's not forget the jam and banger of a song while you're running away from getting trampled by this rusty car's tires. Number 1, No Players Online. Because we are clearly on a haunted PS1 game jam train, this classic capture the flag VHS footage is a unique find on the haunted PS1 horrifying Halloween game jam. Finding a tape labeled Capture the Flag Project 32086, you decide to pop that baby in to view the footage. With you controlling the footage, it starts off looking through a series of empty servers. Entering a server and looking for players, you go off to capture the flag. You soon find out that you're not really alone, which is further explained by a chat log that the game has the power to raise the dead. If you have not played this title, I'll leave it to ya. Next time you're on an empty server for an old shooter though, maybe don't assume you're alone. While Game Jam games can be like taste testing a dish you are cooking instead of actually getting to eat it, one can't deny the magic that these short creative titles provides for our playing pleasures. And hey, shout out to all those that host the Game Jams, we couldn't do it without you. What did you think of our list? Certainly let us know in the comments below or tweet away at JetXP on Twitter. Thanks for watching and stay positively spooky.